Hello, this is Rai Snow. So this time uh, I was asked if there is a way to make a health bar, like HP gauge, and uh, implement it into your game. So I decided to make a quick video to explain the process. So let's start. So this is a game we created before. And uh, in this game, we display players HP in number like this and so if you receive damage then uh, this number decreases but I'm gonna change this number to this HP bar so now if you receive damage then uh, your HP bar decreases like this hmm okay so let me explain how to do it okay first let me make a simple sample program to makes the process easier to understand. First, we're gonna make this window by using this J-frame. And uh, this time, I'm, I'm not gonna explain this uh, making window process because we have done this many times already, so it would be redundant. So uh, if you are not sure about this process, then uh, please check my previous videos. And the next step is, this is also we've already done many times, but we're gonna make yeah, J panel. And uh, this time I'm gonna name this health bar panel. And import this J panel. And then we're gonna initialize this J panel. So same thing, like like always, set bounds, so I'm gonna type um, 250, 250, 300, and uh, 30, so you can type whatever number you want and uh, background color uh, set background and the color uh, let's choose blue again and add this to container okay let's check so like this, so we're gonna make health bar and uh, put it on this health bar panel. Okay. And the next is, yeah, this is gonna be kind of new one. And so to make this health bar, so we're gonna use a thing called uh, J progress bar. And I'm gonna name this as a uh, health bar and the import progress bar. Mm. Now we can use this. And so we're gonna initialize this health bar. Bar equal uh, new j progress bar. And inside of these brackets you can type number and uh, this time I'm, uh, I'm gonna type 0 and 100 so what this number means uh, in this case this 0 is a minimum value of this health bar and 100 is the maximum value and next is we're gonna decide the size of this health bar so health bar and this time we type like this set preferred size new dimension and uh, type 300 and 30 and import this dimension so this 300 and 30 is the same size as this health bar panel so you can choose whatever number you want so and the next is Mm, 
else bar okay set value and 100 so basically this means so you can use this set value and uh, so you can set um, value so to this uh, this bar and uh, I just set the maximum number because you know at the beginning of the game usually you have your max HP okay so yeah the preparation for this J progress bar is basically done so we're gonna add this health bar to this health bar panel so health bar panel add uh, health bar okay so let's check this and so it's like this hmm. I don't know why but I've set the same number 300 you know uh, this health bar and the health bar panel but still, you know, it's not exactly the same. I don't know why, but uh, mm, I think it's okay. Yeah, so let's uh, change this blue to black. So like this. Mm. And the next is, we're gonna make uh, J button again. J button and uh, I'm gonna name this, I don't know, just button. And import. What? Oh. Import this and make J button. I know uh, some of you already know this and done this thousand times, but uh, sorry, but uh, let me type this again in case uh, there is someone who, who are not so sure about uh, this process. So we initialize this J button. Set back round color uh, black set for ground color white. So this is the font color basically. And okay, let me add this to set focus painted pulse. Okay, and then we're gonna make a button handler class again. So public class. Uh, so this time I'm gonna name this like uh, damage handler and the implements action listener. And yeah, same thing like usual. Event event. Okay, and uh, import this and import this. Okay, and so so we just created this damage handler class. So uh, damage handler damage. Handler equal new damage handler. Hmm? Handler, not handler, handler. Hmm. So now we can add this damage handler to this button as a action listener. So, okay, button add action listener. Now and uh, damage and uh, hmm. hmm? Why? Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Ah, not the handa, handora. Okay, and so. Ah, okay. Ah, ah, sorry, I forgot to make a button panel for this J button. So, uh, another J panel, button panel, 
and uh, okay column panel to call new j panel uh, x 250 uh, y 300 width is 300 and uh, 40 And uh, add to container. And now we can add this button to this bottom panel. So bottom panel add button. Okay, let's check this. Wow, it's very small. <laughs> ah, okay, and uh, let's add some text here on this button. So, like, receive damage. Okay, so looks like this. Mm. And now we're gonna add some function. Pick this button, then you receive damage, so your HP decreases. Okay, and so first uh, we're gonna make integer and name this as HP. And also we set uh, default HP value, so 100 because 100 is the maximum HP. Mm. Then, uh, okay, I think uh, we're gonna make a method public void. Uh, damage received or something and uh, yeah first uh, let's uh, type here damage received so this means this is damage handler class so if you click this button then uh, it's gonna call this damage handler class and this is gonna call this damage received method so you can type the result here so result is hp equal hp like minus 10 so you basically you receive 10 damage and also after this calculation uh, we need to display uh, how to say it. we need to reflect the calculation to our health bar so to do that we type like this health bar set value and HP a while ago we typed like this health bar set value 100 so you can manually set value like 100 or 50 or 45 and also you can use like this integer so yeah this time you don't know what your current hp is so we use this integer and your program calculate automatically okay i think this is everything so let's run the program okay so hp bar and uh, if you click this so you receive damage and uh, your HP decreases by 10 each time and you are dead. Yeah, like this. So of course, you know, if you want to heal your HP, then uh, you can make another calculation like not minus 10, but plus 10 or plus 5. Mm. So that's how to make uh, HP bar, health bar.